Okay, everyone. Last lightning talk, then lunch. So uh, let's get through this. So I'm Kyle Matthews, uh, founder of the Gatsby Project, and my Twitter handle, Gatsby's handle. Uh, Gatsby is a blazing fast static site generator for React. Uh, it has 22,000 GitHub stars and 400,000 NPM downloads per month. Uh, React.js, which you've probably all been to, it's built with Gatsby. Um, so my background is Drupal, uh, Backbone, JS, jQuery, and then 2014 React. Uh, I started using React in 2014 fairly early and was building web apps and loved it. Didn't want to use anything else. I was like, this is so much better than Backbone, anything else I ever used. And then Gatsby came about because I really wanted to use a tool that made using React easy or simple for websites. So you server render React to static HTML, so the loads are blazingly fast, and then you load the minimum JS bundle for page to bootstrap into a full React app. Um, so that makes it easy to seamlessly add interactive dynamic sections to a website. And this is, you know, the universal JavaScript, which if you were doing JavaScript back in then, that day, that was kind of the holy grail. Um, so initial release of Gatsby was 2015, almost three years ago. Uh, and a similar, the first initial release was similar to static, other static site generators. So I rebuilt my blog and company website. Um, the DX was really nice. I was using React, and the site performance was amazing. Lots of people started using it. There's lots of feature requests. And people are saying, like, hey, I want to integrate Gatsby with WordPress, Contentful, Drupal, Themes, Code and Data Splitting. And I realized that people wanted to use Gatsby as the presentation layer for their CMS. So they didn't want to just use it as a static site generator with Markdown for, like, kind of developer type things, but to build, like, client websites or marketing websites, which got me really excited because I did a lot of Drupal stuff. Um, and I saw Gatsby as a way to do Drupal, but with, like, modern uh, kind of tooling. Um, so traditional CMS has two parts. It has a presentation layer and a content backend, and they're kind of like glued together in one system. Um, and then a decoupled CMS, which you know people have been experimenting for a while, has kind of like the headless CMS split, sorry, I have autoplay on. Anyways, headless CMS split from the presentation layer, and you have some sort of glue code which like puts them together. So that's what people wanted with Gatsby, but it was like, how do you connect Gatsby to the headless CMSs? And the solution it came up with was plugins, source plugins, and GraphQL. And so now you have the same decoupled CMS, but there's now this like build time GraphQL layer that connects or glues uh, Gatsby to any kind of like data source. And so that was released last July 2017. And so now you can install a source plugin from NPM uh, and configure it in your site and you can now query Markdown or query you know, Google Spreadsheet, query any, any sort of data source. So this is what a component using this system looks like. Um, you have just like a normal React component at the top and then at the bottom, you have a GraphQL query, which like gets uh, HTML and the title of a, of a markdown post. And then you just put it into your uh, React component. And so now source plugins, Airtable, Trello, Google Spreadsheets, um, dozens more. You can go to gatsbyjs.org and go to the plugins thing at the top and search. Um, we've had really strong community growth since V1 launch. It's been really fun to see. Uh, this is the GitHub stars growth. Nice, smoothish. You know, exponential curve. Uh, 800 total contributors, dozens of PRs per week, which is really fun to keep up with. Um, it's really fun to just like have people say nice things about a project on Twitter. Um, you know, lots of people using Gatsby and tweeting about it. Uh, you know, first GraphQL powered static site generator. Um, you know, lots of people. We put a lot of time into our tutorials and documentation. A lot of people really. Um, like that. This one is like sort of thing that's so well done you want to make up reasons to use it however preposterous, which I like that. Uh, this is a fairly common expression. Uh, you know, a lot of people, they run their sites against Lighthouse, which is a way to test how, you know, fast slash progressive web app enabled your site is and, and, and Gatsby scores really well on these sorts of things. Um, so yeah, so lots of people are building fast modern sites with Gatsby. Uh, here's a few of my favorites. So this is a headless WordPress in Gatsby site. Uh, somebody running for governor in Colorado. Um, Figma just launched this recently, designsystems.com. Uh, this is another recent site that was launched, a new database uh, company. Um, this is an e-commerce site um, that's super fast, clicking around, has like progressive images and so forth. Uh, CodeSandbox.io, we just heard from earlier. It's built on Gatsby. Uh, Moji.tinder.com, so forth. So how do you get started with Gatsby? Uh, there is a get started page, as you might guess. And so you, there's a CLI, you install that. You can run a new command, you get a new, a new new site and start working with it. We also have a tutorial um, that walks you through all the bases of Gatsby. Um, we, we try to make it very beginner friendly and a lot of people new to coding have said that they've really enjoyed going through the tutorial. Uh, the V2 beta is, we've been working on it for a while, it's coming uh, pretty soon. 
Um, it's mostly keeping up with upstream's uh, release, so Webpack 1 to 4, uh, React 15 to 16, Babel 6 to 7. Um, so most sites should just be able to like upgrade your packages and your Go. Uh, another thing coming to V2 is I recently collaborated with some open source folks and uh, people at Google to uh, integrate Gatsby with something called guest.js, which integrates with Google Analytics and has some machine learning so that you can like automatically prefetch uh, li like resources that are likely to be, or pages that you're likely to visit, and um, which anyways, which speeds up your site like, quite a bit, and it's really cool technology. And then also something we're calling ludicrous mode. Uh, <laughs> so this is a, a little screencast of somebody editing a Gatsby site, and they're editing some markdown. And VS Code is set up to autosave at a 10 millisecond delay, so you don't normally do this, but it's like it's cool because now Gatsby actually keeps up. So they're typing on the right, and it's like live hot reloading on the left, in kind of your local development environment. And also coming soon, uh, announcement about a new long-term funding model for Gatsby to keep it growing and getting better. And uh, yeah, try out Gatsby and uh, see you on GitHub.